Welcome to segment number 18 of my 4,000 subscriber special, in which this time around it's time to play Super Jeopardy for the NES. Let's see if we can make it all the way to the finals and win $250,000. Here we go. Super Jeopardy. Quarterfinal. Let's do this. And we're playing with these six categories in the Jeopardy round. Rock and roll, quotes, the body, movies, proverbs, starts with the letter Z. Notice the quotation marks. Here we go. Start things out with the, with the body for 200. Daily Double, I'll do a thousand. The mouth liquid lubricant. What is saliva? The body for 400. If its air sacs were flattened out, these organs would cover 600 to 1,000 square feet. What are the lungs? Here we go. Could we have the body for 600? From Latin for rainbow, without them, Sinatra wouldn't be old blue eyes. Karen. Irises. Oh, okay. That's right. Movies 200. Alternating between Victorian and World War II settings, Bowser Rathbone played this sleuth in 14 films. Who is Sherlock Holmes? How about movies for 400? Spanky Alfalfa and Darla appeared in films as the Little Rascals, and this. What is our game? Could I have movies for 600, please? The town that Sailor Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly were on in 1949. What is New York? Yep. Movies for 800. He directed Gloria Swanson in Silence, then played her butler in Sunset Boulevard. Eric Von Strohlein. Alright. That's a correct response. Michael's on the board. Quotes 200. He joked that he signed legislation online Russia forever. The bombing begins in five minutes. Who is Ronald Reagan? We'll take, um, quotes of 400. In Jefferson's first draft, these were held sacred and undeniable, later self-evident. What are truths? Quotes for 600. All the modern inconveniences were part of his life on the Mississippi. Who is Mark Twain? Let's have quotes for 800. The single long man who said about rock, it's not music, it's a disease. Mitch Miller. Movies 1000. 
Nine men who came too late to stay too long was the slogan of this 1969 Peck and Paw Western. What is um, the Wild Bunch? Here we go. I'll have the body for 800. A hollow muscle that's an important part of the circulatory system.
The condition in which the birth rate equals the death rate is known by these initials. What is zero population growth? Proverbs 200. They desert a sinking ship. Uh, what are camels? No. Rats desert a sinking ship. Oh yeah, that's right. Couldn't remember that one for some reason, but that's okay. He that fights and runs away may live to do this. Fight another day. When wine comes in, this is said to come out. Ben Franklin wrote, some are weather-wise, some are this. Otherwise. Alright. There we go. Last clue. Two words self-help proverb found in the temple of the Oracle at Delphi. Know thyself. So I'm in the lead with 9,600 points at the end of the Jeopardy round. Karen's going first because she's in last place. Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories. We're dealing with theater, musical, music trivia, sorry, double N, wall to wall, baseball, and starts with the letter G. We'll see if the categories and clues are on my side. We'll see if the clues are on my side, rather. Double N, 500. Nook's Companion. What's a cranny? Double N, 1000. With this auditory condition, the bells you hear may be in your ears. Mm. I didn't mean to buzz in, sorry. It's not coming to me. Tinnitus. Oh, okay. He was called Satchel Mouth and Satchmo. Who's Louis Armstrong? Uh, let's have, um, Music Trick at 1,000. Rolling Stone who attended the London School of Economics. Who is Mick Jagger? Correct. 
I'll have a uh, music trivia for fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred only. Jewish songwriter famous for White Christmas and Easter Parade. Who is Irving Berlin? Music trivia for 2000. He said Elvis was unfit for a family audience, but in 1956 had him on his show anyway. Who is Ed Sullivan? Let's have music trivia 2500. During World War II, this radio personality popularized country music in Japan. Michael. Tokyo Rose. I wanted to say that for some reason, but I thought it was too obvious. Wall to wall 500. John Boy lived on it. What is Walton? What was Walton Ranch? No, I can't remember it. I know it's Walton, but the second word I cannot remember. Walton's Mountain. It was just not coming to me. Baseball 500. Most of the exhibit at Cooperstown Hall of Fame deals with the life of this player. Who is Babe Ruth? I'll have baseball for a thousand. He played for the Chicago Cubs and Brooklyn Dodgers before becoming TV's rifle man. Who is Chuck Connors? Let's have uh, baseball for fifteen. Boston and Pittsburgh played the first one in 1903. What is a World Series? Oh, oh no! I was trying to finish it. It wouldn't let me. World Series, yeah. Theater 500, I hope it doesn't cost me. Feeling musical, which according to its ads is down forever. What is Cats? Okay. Come on, baby. Booyah. Theater 1000. Or 1500, I guess. It's okay. It was Eugene O'Neill's last play before he uh, produced on Broadway before he went in and died. What is The Iceman Cometh? The odd couple, the women play trivial pursuits such as this. What is poker? Uh, let's have theater 2000. 2500 main hoops. First play presented on Broadway and Sign Language. It's about Mortimer's and homicidal handiwork. What is arsenic and old lace? Richard Burton and Peter Firth recreated their stage roles for this film. What is Equus? There we 
There we go. Could we have wall to wall for a thousand? A small kangaroo. Was a wallaby. Let's have a wall to wall for fifteen hundred, please. This Jerusalem landmark is the last remaining part of the Holy Temple. What is the... Wailing Wall? Okay. Let's go back to baseball for 2000. When manager saw the sword and Dick Williams played for the Havana Sugar Kings, he was batting practice pitcher. Who is Fidel Castro? Let's have baseball 2500. The announcer replied the word rhubarb from the name of a fictitious cat to a disturbance on a field. Red Barber. Double N15. Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Connecticut, this state fit this category. What is Minnesota? Wall to wall 2000. He said the time has come to talk of many things. Oh, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I did not mean to buzz in. I hope it doesn't cost me. The walrus. That's right. All right. I still have problems with over 25,000 points, so that's okay. Starts with G500. Sometimes it means dizzy, but when you talk to your horse, it proceeds up. What is giddy? Uh, let's have starts with G for 1,000. An early wor worship propelled by oars. It's now just the kitchen on a ship. Oh. Oh! Michael doesn't know. I can still buzz in. What's a galley? A start with G for 15. Norwegian composer Edvard. Edvard. Oh! Green. I knew that one. Oh well. I don't think I should worry at this point. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Double N2000. Oh boy. He's going 5,000. Here's the clue. In 1215, John, King John signed the Magna Carta at this meadow along the Thames. Runnymede, I knew it! Ah, uh, pocket pee. Oh well. The Bob and Ray character won over seven international diction awards. Wally Baloo, that's right. I'm trying to see the TV. Starts with G2000. Inflammation of the gums. What is gingivitis? Needless to say, I think I should be okay.
This refers to the mood when it's more than half but not completely full. Gibbous. Yep. Last clue. Viscera. Innards. Alright. Well, it doesn't matter. It looks like I'm going to the semifinals. Here we go. Final Jeopardy. The category is... State Capitals. It's the closest state capital to the nation's capital. What is Annapolis, Maryland? It's either Annapolis or Richmond. It's a 50-50 on this one. It's Annapolis, Maryland that picked the right one either way. We're going to the semifinals. <sighs> Let's go ahead and play the semifinals round, shall we? RPC is the code. All right, here we go. We're going to play Jeopardy. Here are the categories. On real estate, types of government, astronomy, Radio Heroes, Country Music, and finally, Weather. Oh boy. These categories are going to be a challenge, but I'll handle it. Astronomy 200. I'll do a thousand. The second largest planet in the solar system. What is Venus? Wait, no. I'm going to change my mind and say what is Saturn. There we go. I'm glad I did. Astronomy 400. Stars forming patterns such as I see from Earth, such as Orion. What is a constellation? Milk, a system of stars such as the Milky Way. What's a galaxy? Um, eight hundred. The Inquisition forced him to retract his belief that the Earth orbits the Sun. Who is Galileo? And astronomy for a thousand. From the Greek for long hair, they have tails up to 100 million miles long. What is a comet? Country music 200. This gambler formerly sang with the new Christy Minstrels, who's Kenny Rogers.
Can we have a uh, country music for 400? The one word title of the song that begins, Goodbye Joe, Me Gotta Go, Me Yo oh, Mayo. Oh. What is divorce? No. Jambalaya. Oh, okay. It's a little... Types of government, 200. A state ruled by a king, queen, or emperor. What is a monarchy? Types of government for 400. From the Greek, it means the people rule. What's democracy? Up types of government for 600? According to Marx, under this system, a government is supposed to wither away. What is... What is communism? Let's have types of government for 800. A representative government is what Plato calls it, called his ideal state. What is a republic? Type of government, 1,000. Theocracy is ruled by those thought to be his representatives. Who is God? Ran the category. Now it's a tough category. Country is it for six. Considered non-country. Said to this instrument were barred by the Grand Ole Opry until the 60s. What are drums? Types of government for, er, no, country music 800, I'm sorry. A Rhodes Scholarship paid for the good times he had at Oxford. Who is, uh, Chris Christopherson? Country music 1000. The anti-war movement was ready to declare war on Merle Packard after this 1970 hit. What is Oki from Muskogee? There we go. Radio Heroes 200, please. Rank of Preston of the Yukon. And Karen doesn't know. I don't either, so I'm not buzzing in. <laughs> Sorry about the yawning people, I'm getting sleepy. Sergeant, he was Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. Oh, okay. Weather 200. Around the world, a hundred flashes of it occur each second. What is lightning? A weather for 400? The hemisphere that receives the least amount of snow. What is the northern hemisphere? The 
the other one, the southern. It's okay. The southern hemisphere, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Radio Heroes 400. He knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men. The shadow. Second to the right and then straight on until morning is Peter Pan's pad. What is Never Neverland? Uh, I'll have... I don't know, say 400. Paradise for the Hot Lama lived in James Hilton's Lost Horizon. It's Shangri-La. Yep. Yeah. Sulfuric acid and acid rain is an indirect result of burning oil on this fuel. What is coal? Weather 800? Solar iodide in this compound are used for cloud seeding. Mm. Dry ice. Oh, okay. Chauffeuring sidekick. Kato. The symbol for this on a weather map is a circle, half black and half white. Cloudy. 50's naughty lady lived on this street. It's Shady Lane. Real Estate 800. She played the aging movie queen who lived at 10086 Sunset Boulevard. Gloria Swanson. Oh, yeah. Penny and Clipper's uncle, he flew from radio to TV. Sky King, oh, okay. Grace Metallia says, Torrid New England Town. Place. Radio 
radio voice of Superman. On TV, he knew when to tell the truth and how to beat the clock. It was Bud Collier, and I'm in the lead with 9,600 points at the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's play Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories. We had this category. Starts with C, Great Romances, American Writers, Arts and Crafts, and Sports. Alright. We should have a problem with the Z category. Arts of Crafts 500. The process of printing through a piece of fine cloth, usually silk. Silk screening. Bolding Pace and Pulp or a 1970 Dion Warwick song. It's paper mache. Richard Saunders, he wrote a yearly almanac from 1733 to 1758. Who is Benjamin Franklin? Let's get the Z category out of the way. Reading the clues in this category will not be necessary. She called her autobiography by myself, but told about her marriage to Bogart, who is uh, Lauren McCall. American writers for 1500. Babbitt, a term for a middle class conformist, comes from his novel, Babbitt. Uh, who is Upton Sinclair? No, 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 not Upton Sinclair. I'm sorry. I'm going to change it to who is Sinclair Lewis. Good thing I did. American Writers 2000. 
And New York Mayor Mayoral Kennedy was more successful writing about Marilyn Monroe and Gary Gilmore. Oh, Karen doesn't know. Sorry. Norman Mailer. Oh, okay. The game where dribbling is offensive. What is basketball? From the early practice of a pitcher facing West comes this baseball turn for lefty. What's a southpaw? Free fall speeds of 614 miles per hour have been recorded. What is high line? until the ball is snapped. Oh, the line of scrimmage. According to mythology, the name of Narcissus' greatest love, who is himself, Champ was pound for pound the best boxer ever. Cheap portraiture and silhouettes. Yeah, I knew that one. 
Oh boy. A display case of a mental field compartment that sounds like sparring with an imaginary opponent. A shadow box. Newsman who writes with a civil tongue about strictly speaking. From the French meaning news, it's what every kid makes at camp. The actress censured for her romance with Roberto Rossellini in the early 50s. Don't know. Ingrid Bergman. Oh, okay. In one of Shakespeare's lesser tragedies, Troilus loved her. Who is Cressida? Starts at C500. Loving Stanley and Dixie are all types of these. What are cups? I'm gonna have to try for, uh, let's see. I'll try for 15,000 points in the hopes I get it right. Lions and tigers and manx are these. What are cats? That's right! From the French meaning younger son, a student at West Point, what's a cadet? Last name of lithographer Isa's partner. Courier. Oh, okay. A spelunker spelunks in one of these. What's a cave? And now we're going to play Final Jeopardy. Category is Europe, 1900. Second longest river in Europe. It flows through or borders eight countries more than any other European river. I'll just say what's the damn you. But that's a guess. Either way, I'm going to the finals.
It is the Danube. I got it right. Sorry about the sneezing there. Oh, I would have been going to the finals no matter what. How about that? Here we go. Let's play the finals. NMT is the code. Here we go. Here we go, let's do this. We have these as our six categories. Musicals, biology, greenery, most of quotation marks, ancient history, TV trivia, rainy songs. Well, none of these are repeats from earlier games, so I'll start with ancient history for 200. Pharaoh! Inkatan caused an uproar by allowing the worship of only this many gods. What is one? Correct. Ancient history 400. Correct. I am a citizen not of Athens or Greece, but of the world, said this philosopher. The Norwegian across the Atlantic and a reed box of Egyptians may have reached the New World. Who is Amund who is Raoul de Munson? Shang, the Ming, or the Qing, the second dynasty, the second century dynasty that is China's oldest. What is the Qing? Oh no. I'm off to a rough start. Oh, Karen doesn't know. Dang. <laughs> Color the owl and the pussy cat's beautiful boat. What is pea green? saying it's not that easy doing this. What is being green? The U.S. political 
supporting 1800s at the lane, issuing more paper to bring prosperity. Who are the greenbacks? White, War, Bearskin, and Scowl. What was Jolly Green Giant? creatures. What are birds? Oh, the other one. I always get this clue wrong, but it's okay. Fish, yeah. French scientists who prove bacteria cause disease. Who is Louis Pasteur? Unseen narrator of this Fred Savage series. What is the Wonder Years? TV trivia for 600. At his house party, kids said the darndest things. Uh, who is Art Linkletter? Trivia for 800, please. For a thousand, I guess. The hometown of the Anderson family and father knows best. Springfield, okay. 
series had stated there were 8 million stories here. What is the Naked City? Town and tradition. What's been there on the roof? developed into this musical picture of pre-war Germany. What is Cabaret? George M. Cohen played this president and I'd rather be right. Uh, who is FDR from the Donald Roosevelt? show. What is South Pacific? Jane Kell originally played this title cat in Who Bewitched, Be Offered, and Bewildered the Ladies. falling on his head. Who is B.J. Thomas? According to Albert Hammond, it never rains here, but man, it pours. What is the desert? In Southern California. Oh, yeah. Neil Sadaka took a lot of light in the bank with this number one comeback song in 1974. What is Laughter in the Rain? Trivia, China, sports, 
Songbirds, Technology, World Cities. I think we may have seen two of these categories. If the clues are the same, we should be good. Let's go. Technology for 500. Type of plane with turbo or ram engines. Uh, Karen. A jet. He owns both basketballs, Atlanta Hawks, and baseballs, Atlanta Braves. Who is Ted Turner? So the clues are going to be different. I'll take a look at the music trivia category to see if that's, those categories are the same. He wrote the Archer to Don Giovanni in one, set, one sitting. Nope. The categories are different. The clues are different, I mean. Sorry. Oh, Mozart. Okay. Songbirds 500. In the 1950 hit, Frankie Lane's heart flies where this wild bird flies. The goose. Oh, okay. Dr. Yarvitz, our official one, kept Barney Clark alive for 112 days in 1982. What is a heart? Technology for 1500. Its name is an acronym for Light Amplification by Simulation Emission of Radiation. What is a laser? Time is submitted by Dietrich Wankel. It keeps the beat like a pianist's feet. What is a metronome? Correct. Technology for 2500. The substance that's produced, processed, and degenerate. What is cotton? Yay. China for 500. China encourages families to have only this many children. What's one? For some 2,000 years, in order to enter government service, applicants had to know his sayings. Who's Confucius? Tried on the to persuade him to return him to return to Tibet. Who is the Dalai Lama? Jen King's occupation before she married Mao Zedong. Great 
Pianist Pal Paderewski was also premier of this country. What is Poland? He and Joe Montana were opposing quarterbacks in the 1990 Super Bowl. John Elway. Oh, okay. I wasn't 100% sure on that one, but that's okay. Songbirds, 1,000. Birds mentioned in the opening line of My Blue Heaven. Whippoorwills. Oh, okay. Five-year plan, which forced farmers into giant communities, was also communes. It's also called this. The Great Leap Forward. Oh, okay. Sports 2000. Last name of figure skater Tenley, who won 1956's Olympic gold medal. Albright. Yep. Correct. 1,200 points. Look at the Sports 2,500. For the last challenger faced by Rocky Marciano for boxing's heavyweight crown. Mm, don't know. Oh, Archie Moore. I had no idea on that one. Complete the title of Gilbert and Elf Sullivan's operator, the Yeoman of... Oh, I don't know that one. I don't remember. The Guard. <laughs> World Cities 500. Every July, this Spanish city streets are full of bull. What is Pamplona? We, oui, the only wall city in North America is in this Canadian province. What is Quebec? Uh, World City's 15. 2000, I guess. Never mind. Dubrovnik on this country's Dalmatian coast is oddly enough famous for productions of Hamlet. What is Yugoslavia? World City's 1500. Brisbane is the capital of this royal Australian state. What is Queensland? And World City is 2500. In March 1965, the first U.S. ground troops in Vietnam landed in this city, also called Terrain. Oh, I think I know it. Da dang, I knew it. Well, in my case, it should be danged. Because I knew that answer. Oh boy. Music Trivia 2000. The last name of the three brothers who started the Beach Boys. I'm going to take a guess and say what is Wilson. Uh, let's have music trivia 2500, please. 
Danny can't play this hard to play Woodwind and Ill Wind. That no one blows good. What is the Oboe? That's right. Songbirds 15. Um, let's just do 500 only. This little white bird was sitting in the water doing what he oughta. What is a dove? No, but I didn't lose too many points, so that's okay. A duck! Duck! Okay. If you get the little Jimmy Dickens mad at you, he'll wish the bird of paradise would fly here. Up your nose. <laughs> Last clue. And then I gotta wager carefully for final jeopardy. The title of this sacred song, a big hit for Roy Cub, comes from the biblical book of Jeremiah. Okay. It's the great speckled bird. So if Michael goes all in on final jeopardy, he will go up to 33,200. The category is daytime TV. Five thousand seven hundred one. That will be enough for the win. Here we go. The longest running CBS soap opera, which began on the radio. What is the guiding light? That's right. We win the $250,000. We're about to find out if that is indeed right or wrong. Okay, here we go. Is it in Guiding Light? Yes! So we're going to add the $250,000 right now. We won the $250,000, everybody! I'll see you all for that next segment right after this.